Hi you guys, so I'm here with my favorite summer products and how I use them. So I'm going to do everything from like face stuff to nails even. So let's just get started because I have a lot to talk about. So my favorite first summer product is the CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers and it's basically a tinted moisturizer. So if you don't know what a tinted moisturizer is, it's basically part lotion and part foundation. And then this one has um, an SPF of 15 which is great because it'll help with, you don't have to put an extra sunscreen underneath your foundation. So it's really light and it's really sheer so it's great for the summertime because you don't want a lot of stuff on your face. You still want a little bit of coverage. Um, one con to this I would say would be I don't like the staying power because it's very like minimal because it's a moisturizer and the way I use it is I just take an average foundation brush so like it's like a MAC 190 um, it's just like it's like flat and then I just put it all over my face or I use my fingers sometimes and it's the CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers it's pretty um it's pretty good consistency and I have the color light to medium I think I should have gone to light but it's pretty sheer so it doesn't look that dark and maybe I'll get a little darker in the summertime I don't know but um yeah this is pretty good stuff and it's not expensive either I like to set that product with the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder, and this one is um, in Translucent. It's from the Studio line, and it's $3. I've tried so many Translucent powders. This one is by far the best one I've found. Um, a con for it would just be there's a lot of fallout, but a pro would be it's really silky and smooth. It really does mattify for a long time, and it's just it's easy to bring. It has a big mirror. Packaging's good. Like, um, there's a lot of good things about it, and you can tell from here, I've used so much of it. Um, like, I've hit pan a lot. I'm dwindling down, and I need to get another one, because I've tried so many others, and I've tried to, you know, find one that might be better, but I really can't find one right now, so that's kind of impressive for me, because it's only $3. So my favorite cheek combination would be these two together. So I use this Clinique True Bronze Pressed Powder. Again, like the e.l.f. powder, I have so many bronzers. I have Max Refined Golden, Max Golden, and then I also have Cargo Power um, Bronzers, and I have NYC Sunny Bronzer. Um, I have a whole bunch of bronzers, and by far this one is the best one. So what I do with this is I take a blush brush, not a really fluffy one, just um, one that's fluffy enough that you can blend with it. And then I just put it on my temples, on my cheekbones, and underneath. The reason why I put it on my cheekbones instead of contouring is because I find that contouring isn't even that effective, and it looks better on my cheekbones. I like to look better, so I put it on my cheekbones. And you can tell I've used so much of this as well. I've had this for like two years, and I've finally, you know, gotten down. Um, slowly dying. Anyways, um, then I take this cream blush. I'm not that big of a fan of this cream blush, but I like the color a lot, so it's the reason why I use it. Um, I, why I don't like it is because the blendability is not really good, but the color is really pretty, and it's plaza pink, and it looks like that. It's like a peachy pink color. Um, and what I do is I just roll it up, and then I just dab like twice on the apples of my cheeks, and then I just blend down and up with my fingers. Not all the way down, pat like over here. I just kind of blend it to here like that, and then it'll give me a nice, like, glow on my apples, but it'll look bronzy and pretty, and it won't look overdone or, you know, anything like that. This, um, does dry to a powder finish, so you don't have to set it, but you can set it, and if I do set that, I use just more bronzer and I set it, because it, I feel like it gives a really glowy, peachy look, which is great for the summertime. Okay, I really don't have as many products as I thought I did. Okay, um, in terms of eyes, what I like to do is I either use my favorite primer, which is the e.l.f., um, primer. That's the one I'm using right now. I like to switch my eye primers a lot. I switch up my products a lot, but um, if I don't use that, like what I'm wearing right now is the Bare Study Paint Pot from MAC. I've had this forever as well. I really haven't used that much of it, but it's just a really pretty shimmery champagne color. Um, it's really, really gorgeous. Um, you can use it as an eyeshadow, which I did. I didn't even set it, and it stayed all day long. It's just pretty, really pretty, just like champagne-y, pinky color golden, a little flex of gold, and it's really pretty. Um, it stays all day long, and it's a great base, and it's easy if you don't want to wear any eyeshadow. But if I do wear powder eyeshadow in the summer, I have a favorite combination. I use the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Color Icon Palette. Um, first, I would prime my eyes with any eye primer that's clear or sheer, and then I take this eyelid color with a 239, which is a flat shader, and I pat it all over my lids. Then, taking my L'Oreal Hip High Intensity Pigment Bright Shadow Duo in Roaring, which is my favorite eyeshadow duo as well. Um, I take this taupe, taupey color over here, which I've used so much of. I use it on everybody almost in almost all my tutorials because it's really easy. And I blend it into my crease because it looks really natural. And then if I want to darken it up just a little bit, I take the crease color from my Wet n Wild palette and I put that in my outer corner. I don't really do a brow bone highlight, and if I do, 
Um, I just use my e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder as the highlight because it's just sort of a neutral matte color. Um, yeah, that's my everyday eye look. It has been for a while, but that would definitely be um, something I would wear in the summer a lot. But I would definitely wear my MAC paint pot a lot, just as one eyeshadow, which I've been doing a lot lately, and some eyeliner. So I've recently got a new eyeliner. Um, my eyeliner pens have all died. I've had Jordana Fabi Liner and Revlon Color Say. I'm going to buy the Jordana Fabi Liner when I get my hands on it, but it's really hard to find where I live. So I decided to go ahead and buy this All May Liquid Liner because I've heard really good things about it. Like people have said this is what they've used for 20 years, blah, 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 blah. So this is what it is, and you shake it up, and then it's a little, it's not really a flexible brush. It's like a, kind of like a hard little thing, but it's really easy to use, and it looks like that. It just looks like a little pen. Um, it's really pretty easy to use. I like it a lot. Um, it stays forever, which I think is really amazing. It stays just as good as a gel liner, so I like the staying powder of this and power of this, and I like how black it is. It's kind of a glossy finish, though, so that's totally your option if you like it or not, but you can always set it with black powder, which I always do, like a black eyeshadow, um, so it stays even longer. So I use this, and I love it. I if I want like a really simple look, I'll just use my Bare Study Paint Pot with my All May Eyeliner together, and it looks really good together. So I don't have a favorite mascara for the summertime because I switch between waterproof and non-waterproof in the summer. Um, I don't really like mascara um, that much as a whole, but I do wear mascara um, more often in the winter than I do in the summer, but I curl my lashes, so I use a lash curler. Um, but yeah, I still can't get over how good this is. I'm going to do a review on like the liquid pen versus liquid, um, like, liquid normal and, like, the pros and the cons and everything. So tell me if you want to see that. Um, and also leave any other video requests that you want down below. I'm kind of running short on ideas, so definitely let me know if you have any video requests down below. So I only have a few things left. The last one is my, um, the one of the things is my favorite lip combo. This is my favorite lip combo ever. I wore it even to my prom. That's how much I love it. So this is my favorite lipstick of all time. It's the Rimmel Moisture Renew and Spotlight Beige. And it looks like this. It's just a really pretty peach nude color. It's not too nude so it makes my lips wash, look washed out. And there's enough pink to bring it out. But it's not too pink where it looks bad on me because I don't look good in pink lipsticks. And it's not too brown. It's just, it's perfect. It's the perfect shade ever. So I love this. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over a cold right now, so my voice sounds scratchy. And then I put this over it to add a little bit more color, and it's the Revlon um, Lip Gloss in Pink Afterglow, and it's just this gorgeous strawberry pink. It reminds me of, like, strawberries, like strawberry shortcake or something. Mmm, it smells so good. Uh, and I love the combination together. It just looks so good, um, and it's very, like, glowy and very bronze, not bronzy, but very glowy, and I really like that. So, um, if yeah, I might do, like, an everyday summer tutorial if you want to see that, maybe. Um, and anyways, my favorite summer nail polish is this one, and I know it's a little unconventional. Um, I have a China Glaze limited edition nail polish. I don't know. I got it done. I don't know what color I have, but that's the color. Um, but this is Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Extreme Color in Mellow Yellow, and it's just so summery and fun, and I've been really into yellow nail polish lately. I have no idea why, but I really like this yellow nail polish. Don't ask why, but I really like it, so I hope you guys, um, like it too. I, I just like trying out new colors in the summer. It really makes me happy. And I, um, in the summertime, I like to try out new makeup looks because I do work, so I have a little bit more time and I have something to dress up for, I guess. So I like to try out collars and stuff in the summertime. It's definitely a time for experimentation for me. So I may do a lot of tutorials this summer. Who knows? But um, definitely leave a response down below um, of what you want to see me do next. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Have a great summer and have a great day. Bye.